Hi, this is Smokey Girl. I'm here with Chanel, mother of three children, Sherrod's three baby girls. Okay, how do you feel now that Sherrod has been bonded out? And what do you feel now because of the things that are going on with the sheriff's office, with the monitoring system? Now that he's out, I'm really thankful because things without him here are very hard. Obviously, I just had the new baby and taking care of them, all three of them alone, isn't easy. So with him being home, it makes things a lot easier for me. I just had surgery, so I can't do certain day-to-day -day things. And with him being home and able to help me, it's, it, it means a lot to our family. Uh, when you got the news today that he couldn't help you with the girls picking them up from school, how'd you feel? Crushed because it's been hard lately with him. The last week when he wasn't around, I've been having to coordinate things to try to get people to help us since he's not home. And um, it's just hard for me because I can't do day to day things like lifting since I had a cesarean. Um, when I delivered, when I had the baby, so it's, um, it was crushing just knowing that I have to try to work things out and coordinate things because he can't be, be around to help us. What did you think, uh, you, you had mentioned something to me earlier, um, I'll get my thoughts process here going. You said, uh, oh, yeah, are you working? Um, not at this time. I'm actually out on maternity leave. I'm employed, but I'm not working because I just had the baby two weeks ago. How is it important for Sherrod to get back and forth to work and to be able to help you financially? It's very important because I'm not receiving full pay right now. I'm not even receiving my full income so that I'm able to fully provide for our babies like I normally would be. And it, I mean... His income is very helpful to uh, providing for our family. Okay, so do you have anything else to say other than what you've already said? It's just hard going through this, not knowing whether he's going to be home. I know, it's hard and it's painful. Um, do the girls need anything? They're dead to be here. All right, everybody, um, Chanel's uh, pretty upset right now because this is, this is really tearing um, this family uh, with, with all the struggles and the pain that they're going through right at this time. So I'm signing off. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay, Sherrod, let tell us how you feel about the monitoring and what it's doing to you and your family. Uh, I feel that this monitoring system that they got going on me is like ridiculous. They are coming up, making up all of these accusations that I'm taking it off of me, leaving it at home. Sometimes I don't move. Like at first it was I didn't move enough. Now I, it's, I'm getting temper alerts and I'm not moving. So. They're, they basically trying to say I t I'm taking it off and leaving the house and stuff like that when I'm not. So how is it causing a struggle for you with with a newborn and your your two other daughters? They put me on a home monitor system and they put the GPS on me again too, and it's just hard. They got me on like in house detention for no reason, and they saying I can't pick up my kids now too, so. And the, your daughter from where, school? Yeah, from school. And that's bringing a hardship on you and uh, Chanel. Why is it a hardship for Chanel? Because she just, she, uh, she was just saying on her interview that she just had surgery. Yeah, she just had surgery, a C-section with, with our new daughter and we got two daughters that go to school now, and now they're not trying to let me go and help her pick up the kids so for I don't know what reason. So what happens when you're not uh, bringing the money home because it's it's hard for you to do what you need to do? And it's 
I don't know what's going to happen. It's a financial burden? Yeah. Now they won't let me work. They, they were trying to cut everything on me, period. And I don't even know why. I don't understand it. I didn't catch no new cases.